Hello everyone, my name is Nyeleti, the daughter of Mangani. Uh, I was married, to, I am married to the Ntabangulus. Uh, I'm also known as Tha. I'm a veterinarian by profession, vet for short. A, a veterinarian is a person who was medically trained to treat animals. So I studied uh, my primary and secondary education in Takane, which is in Ekoroleni East, and then I did my tertiary education in the University of Pretoria. I spent my eight years there until I got my BVSC degree. I have four tattoos. Uh, I'll talk about my latest tattoo, which is this one. So you can see that I've got two chess pieces. Ideally, according to the chess rules, the king should be bigger. But for me, in my family, I'm the one who is bigger. <laughs> yeah, so that's why the queen looks bigger here. So now the king is a bit smaller. And then the stars symbolize our, our offsprings, which are children and the other family members from both um, my in-laws and my immediate f my like my ma my brothers and my dad and then this is a half heart what it means that you know, we all know that a heart symbolizes love caring and all of that so now you can see that it's linked to the queen which symbolizes me so it just shows the love that i have for my family the whole family and then it also shows that i can do like I'll, I'll exhaust all my options in order to make sure that they are safe and they are loved i always encouraged myself to use the little money that i had to focus on the basic and the important things like getting your toiletries etc because I would say to myself, you don't have a job, you're a student, you're still studying, so obviously you cannot live a lavish life. So this was, it was something that pushed me to study, you know, more because I knew I wanted to achieve something that would assist me in the future to be able to live the life that I want to live. And then the other thing, it's the racism part. The black people in the campus that I moved to were a minority. Uh, but that was not a problem because I mean we we had already accepted that veterinary science was dominated by white people in South Africa mainly so that wasn't a problem and then in res we still a minority when you go to the campus you still a minority in class you are still a minority I remember there was about I think seven black students out of about 140 other students some were indians but majority was white people so the incidents that i would say were racist it was the university's role that the language of medium should be english but you'd find that there were some lecturers who would give a lecture in africans and then if you tell them that you don't understand africans you would like them to teach in english someone would say if i want to teach in africans then i'll teach in africans and you can go and report me to the dean if you want he won't do anything because he needs us here such things so already you feel discouraged because i mean if a lecturer is able to do that to you in front of other students as well then it also like it lowers your self-esteem and then it gives the other students the authority to i don't know if they wanna act racist to you then they will do that even if they're just being cruel you know like the normal cruelty but because you feel like you are of a different race then in your mind it will always feel like it's a, it's a racist attack or racist whatever incident so they knew that they they always had support so you end up as a black person feeling that you don't have anyone to cry to such things so for me it was a challenge uh, at that moment, I felt like all, only black people, black lecturers, the black workers, the general workers at the university were the only ones who understood our situation there. The other one was when I was in my sixth year of study, when I lost my mom in May 2013. So that really broke me a lot. But then I, 
I just believe that if it's God's will, then it is okay. And then I just asked God to give me more courage, you know, to focus on this goal that I had. Uh, and I even, I remember praying that, God, please just give me the strength to accept this situation and be able to move on. I mean, this is the road that everyone will take in life, but it shouldn't stop us from achieving our goals and living our normal lives. Obviously, there will be a change because a certain individual who used to live with you is no longer there. You know, now you're just gonna imagine if this person was here, this is what I would be doing, such things, you know. I mean, even the festive seasons won't be the same anymore. You know, the Easter seasons won't be the same anymore. The support that you used to get from that person is no longer there. But you just know deep inside that if this person was here, then th the situation would be this way. But then I'm just grateful that even though I lost my mom, at least I still had my dad and my siblings, you see. They also play a very important role in my life. But the roles are different. So that year, I remember I even told myself that I don't want to see myself failing any module or having a sub because I wanted to go home earlier and spend more time with my family. So I studied harder that year. And since that day, I never had a fail. I never failed a subject or had a sub, you know. Um, yeah, I passed everything and then I got to go home earlier, which was good for me. So I spent about two months at home, two, two and a half months, something like that, at home. And then I came back for my seventh year of study, then I also studied harder, passed everything, and then I started my clinics, and then everything went well. It was very challenging as well, but then I'm just saying that the main challenges are the ones that I've already mentioned. So there were other small challenges, you know, but then I managed to overcome them. And I finished my, my degree, and then I graduated in 2016, April. In life, we make choices uh, along the way that are gonna work for us. Some of them, they don't work for us. But then for me, I decided uh, not to date at that time because I wanted to focus on my goal, which was to get a, a degree, a PVSC degree. So along my journey, I, I did some of the things that I did to you know like at my face at my free time where playing sports i used to play netball for, for for the university and rest at that time for about two years or so and then i would go out with my friends for movies where we go to the park you know such things i'd spend time with my family etc church mates etc but then at that time i told myself that i'm not gonna date because i felt like the little time that I have for my studies, I cannot, I couldn't share it with someone else. So the other things, the other activities that I was doing at that time were enough for me. So I didn't want to add another relationship at that moment. I felt I wasn't ready until 2015 in my final year. That's why I felt that, okay, I think I can start another relationship and whatever happens, I'll be able to, you know, stand my ground on it if there are challenges then I'll, I'll manage to to overcome them such things and i wouldn't blame anyone because it's my decision you know so yeah what's exciting now about my life is being financially free yay <laughs> yeah it's really good um i enjoy it i get to do the things that i wanted to do when i was still a student some of them have changed a bit but because I have the finances now, it's much better. And then the other thing is I have a job, which is good. I'm getting to, like I'm doing what I studied for, what I love, and as I've already mentioned, our career is very broad. You can do a lot of things. You can do admin, you can engage with the communities, you can do awareness, uh, career expos, etc. So. I am very happy with what I'm doing. If there was a young person, whether a girl or a boy, who was going to go through what I went through, I was going to advise them to focus on their goal. 
in life there will always be challenges in whatever you do no matter how big or small uh, is your goal there will always be challenges and then you will also find people who tell you that you know so and so tried doing that but look at where they are they didn't achieve so this thing is very difficult don't even bother why waste your money doing that why don't you do this and that why are you spending so many years trying to achieve something that's not even meant for you don't waste your you know your time and money and everything just focus on other things so there'll always be people who who will some of them will guide you some of them will think they know what is good for you but you know, I mean, you know yourself better. If you want to do something, just do it. You know, there will always be challenges, but it, sh it doesn't mean that you should stop because if you're going to stop just because you face certain challenges, then it means that you are never going to achieve anything because every time you face those challenges, you are going to stop. So you need to accept those challenges and just find a way to overcome them. That's how we learn in life. And sometimes you will find that whatever you do, you know, you like the path is just smooth for you. I mean, I, I won't say that you always have to go through something bad in order to achieve something. What I'm trying to say is sometimes you find that, you know, you are mentally ready in a certain way to achieve certain things. And then in the end, you'll end up saying, but so and so said this was not achievable. How did I achieve it? You know so that's why it's not always good to listen to what other people say you know because you shouldn't allow people to detect your life you just need to choose what is good and what is bad and then see what you want to use in your journey so the other challenges will be the profession that I'm in it's mainly dominated by white people so already maybe to you it will be a challenge that you know what I shouldn't do this because I mean I don't see a lot of black people there then it means that it's not doable look at me I told myself that I'm gonna do it and I achieved it so in short I just wanna say hashtag it is possible black child <laughs> <laughs>